If you're looking for Madden 19 Ultimate Team coins, be sure to head over to muttcoin.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for an 8% discount. Hey, what is going on, guys? Clickwood here, back again. And if you guys are anything like me, you've been playing a hell of a lot of solo battles on Madden 19 Ultimate Team. And I think that this is probably one of the most frustrating game modes that they've ever put into a Madden game. And it honestly feels like the CPU is just straight up cheating sometimes. Take a look at some of the highlights from my games. This is actual highlights from my solo battles, and you're going to see just some crazy things happen. I mean, obviously, that's not that big of a deal there. A guy breaks a tackle. What are you going to do? That stuff kind of, that, that kind of stuff just happens. But there are other ones, like this kick return, where it seriously feels like there's nothing that you could have done. They just get the most perfect blocking. They break tackles. They do everything just perfectly, and your players play like complete morons. Well, guys, today I have some information coming from the Mutt Leaks Twitter account that kind of rationalizes some of our thoughts on these things, and it really is going to tell us that yes, indeed, you are not crazy, the CPU is cheating in solo battles. And again, guys, this is coming from the Mutt Leaks Twitter account. I will leave a link to that in the description. It says, hmm, solo battles literally cheat. Normally on any difficulty, game mode, or game type, the modifier for both teams is 50. But when playing solo battles, the modifier for the opponents is 50, and it's 10 for you. That means that your team is playing roughly 40% more poorly than it normally does. So that probably has a lot to do with, you know, the reasons why we're seeing crazy things happen in solo battles, things that normally don't happen to us when we're playing in head-to-head -head games or in regular solo challenges, things like that. So again, guys, don't feel too crazy. You're not going insane. You're not just playing worse in solo battles. It is literally designed so that your team does play worse. So, again, hopefully that'll just help you a little bit. I do also have some other information coming from uh, some of the other updates that were made in the most recent patch. Again, this is all coming from the Mutt Leaks Twitter account, so I want you guys to make sure that you go over there and give them a follow because they're doing a ton of great work over there on that, uh, on that platform on Twitter. So, you guys are going to be able to see here, uh, this has to do with pass knockouts. Now, pass knockouts are when your defender is engaging with a receiver right when they catch the ball. So it's not forcing a fumble. It's not doing anything crazy. It's just literally sw not swatting the ball away uh, either. It's, it's after the ball hits the receiver's hands before it's considered to be a catch, essentially. So previously, you're going to see the numbers up there, and you might need to zoom in to see this, but there were a couple different ways that this was set up. Uh, the high point pass had a .1 modifier, so that means that uh, it was a little bit more effective than a standard knockaway. Uh, and then things like the secure catch. So if your receiver goes for a secure catch, you are less likely to uh, drop it by .1 uh, as well. So that's about 10%. So again, you, you had more effectiveness in catching it when you did a secure catch. Uh, and then obviously, up again, on the bottom there, uh, the yards after catch. So there was an increase on that as well. It was more likely if you went for a rat catch that you would drop it than if you went for a standard catch, if, if that makes sense. So those kind of things still exist. It's pretty much the same. It's just that all three of those numbers were modified to be more efficient uh, or more effective. So like, for example, if the receiver does go for a high point pass, they actually increase the percent chance that you do knock the ball out by about... 5% or so. Um, so it went from 0.1 to 0.15. So that's about a 5% change. And then on the secure catch, that actually decreased as well. So it went from uh, a 10% modifier to a 20% modifier. So now you have a much better chance of holding onto the ball if you do go for that secure catch, your X button or your A button on the Xbox. Uh, then if you go for the rat catch, they actually did the biggest difference on this. There was a, a pretty big modifier change that went, went from a 10% likelihood to be knocked out to actually a 25% modifier to be locked, knocked out. So you don't want to go for a rat catch if you can avoid it if the cornerback is going to be right there or whoever's playing you in pass coverage is going to be right there to hit you or uh, to not necessarily lay a big hit but to you know right, be right on you. Uh, and if they go for that R1 button or the right bumper button to kind of uh, jar the ball out, they're more likely to be able to make that work now than they were before. 
So again, that's a little bit of information that we want to keep in mind, guys. It does change the way that we play the game just a little bit. It doesn't change everything, but it does change a little bit. Some other things that came out here had to do with man coverage, and man coverage did change a little bit. It wasn't necessarily a huge thing because we don't really see it's hard to really know exactly what was going on here, but a lot of this stuff just kind of, I think it was just added so that they could change it down the road if they wanted to. They added a little bit of code. As you can see there, the original, there wasn't any code for any of this stuff, but now we see some new things that were added. We see things like um, trails. Uh, just, I, don't, I, I guess I don't know if that's trail routes or if it's the, the cornerback trailing behind the receiver or, you know, I, we don't really have a great definition of exactly what that is at this point. Uh, but then there's other things like a double move. That actually has uh, more effectiveness now, it looks like, than it did before. But again, this stuff is hard to know. What, it, what it, we really want to see here is if we can figure out exactly what these things are going to do. And then when we see changes in the game code, which again, Mutt Leaks is probably going to be able to find... If we see changes in the game code on these things, then we're going to be able to kind of identify whether or not uh, these things are getting more aggressive or less aggressive, if they're more effective or less effective, essentially. So at this point, I wouldn't make a whole lot of moves based on this. It does seem like man coverage itself, the actual man coverage uh, attribute might have a little bit more importance now than it did before. But again, it doesn't look like, you know, some of the things in there are a .000, which means that it didn't actually change anything in the game code. They just added it, it looks like, so that they can maybe change it down the road once they figure out exactly what they want to do with these different modifiers. So all that information, again, coming from the Mutt Leaks Twitter account and, and actually in the game code itself. Next, we actually have something that I think is probably the, and I guess this is actually last as well, probably the most important thing uh, aside from the, the soloed battles thing that, that just makes me feel a little bit better about myself, uh, but the biggest modifier that I saw here was actually in regards to the pass rush aggressiveness, so if you go into your coaching uh, uh, changes while you're actually playing the game and you add on your uh, pass rush to be aggressive, they actually made that a little bit less effective. So it used to be a 0.3% timer delay, which or a, a 30% basically is what that's saying. Um, and now they actually made it a 50% uh, timer delay. So it's, it's not going to be quite as dominant as it was before, as far as I'm understanding it anyway. Uh, so, you know, the bigger the delay, the longer it's going to take for you to actually break off from your uh, engagement from the offensive linemen. So uh, they did make it, again, decent amount less effective. So if you're noticing that your aggressive pass rush is not as effective as it was before the patch, this is why. So there you have it, guys. That's the information that I learned. Hopefully, you guys learned something. If you did, make sure you drop a like on this video. And of course, again, make sure you head on over to that Mutt Leaks Twitter account. They're dropping information about the game code itself. They're dropping some content early. You're going to be able to see some of the cards that get released before they're actually even in the game. And that's pretty much the only place that you're getting that information. So make sure, again, you head on over there. Give them a follow on Twitter. They're putting out great information. I'm going to keep trying to give you guys as much of this stuff, breaking it down as, as well as I can. I don't, I'm not a game coder so I can't tell you exactly what's happening but I can kind of understand it based on code a little bit at least so uh, if I'm wrong on any of this stuff make sure you guys drop a, a note in the comment section below and let me know I'll respond to it if I can and if it's something that I was just egregiously off on I'll make an update to it at some point but I think for the most part we got the information that we need out of this so hopefully you guys enjoyed it again make sure you drop a like subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll talk to you guys again soon